Guys, this is just a quick video uh, of my MacBook 2010. Uh, I've put an SSD in, and I've got um, five gigabytes of memory, one one gigabyte, and a four gigabyte uh, stick. Um, the, adding the extra four gigs now. Well, it was two gigs. Now it's five gigs. The extra three gigs makes a huge difference. Uh, I'm just gonna show you. I mean, SSD itself creates, you know, it prevents, gets gets rid of that lagginess in general, and you know, it's quicker to load, but. Uh, the, the the RAM just helps it load a lot, loads of apps a lot quicker. I mean, for example, I'm just gonna start just loading one after another. Um, uh, let's see. To add, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna load up um, Premiere Pro. Uh, Illustrator, which won't run actually, Photoshop, um, Adobe InDesign, and let's add After Effects on as well. Yeah, a lot of these, let's look like Premiere Pro is pretty much really loaded. It's very fast. You know, you see all these apps, they're running in the background. This was this before, even with just, you know, no apps running. It was very laggy on the stat normal hard drive. Now it's very fluid. Very, very fluid. You know, you can snap to any of your applications very quickly. You know, um... So... You know, you can see what I'm running, I'm running all the different apps. You go to them, um, you know, um, sign in required because I'm using a trial version. Um, I'm just gonna quit. Again, it's asked for it a few times because I've loaded four different apps. Um, there we go. Um, and this is my spec. As you can see, it's a ten point nine. It's a, you know, it's only it's a dual core, dual core duo. You can see there you go. Where is it? Uh, doesn't say what year it is, but it is a twenty thousand ten uni MacBook Unibody. Mm. You got four gig, one gig storage. Um, so it's a 128 gig SSD which I got on offer recently from Crucial because I was doing a Black Friday sale and it was refurbished. But you yeah, know, it's it's for 22 pounds in my eyes that's a bargain. Um, but you I mean you've got you've got all you've got everything running. You've got uh, you know you've, it's I'm really surprised. I mean it runs very. I mean it, even on my PC it has some sort of lag sometimes loading. I mean, on my PC, the similar Adobe versions don't even load that quickly. They take forever. Um, we've got Photoshop CS. It's, I mean, you can literally snap to. So imagine you're working in Dreamweaver and you've created um, some work that, you, and um, for example, After Effects, which you then you need to import into Photoshop to finish up. And then you need to eventually, you know, create a, a JPEG version that's very data friendly. And then and then incorporate that into Dreamweaver, and then you might want to create a website design in InDesign. So you imagine working through all the with all these, and then for example, you might have an intro, introduction video uh, in in for your website. So then you might create a basic video which you'll have which you might convert to Flash, uh, which I haven't installed, but I mean you can I mean Adobe have the whole suite of uh, software tools, and uh, all, and at the same time you could be listening to not with what well, doubt any books doubt. But you'd be, you know, listening to music. You won't be using photo boot, let's be honest. Uh, you might, you know, you might get a FaceTime that, you know, that comes in randomly, and even that runs pretty smoothly. There's my ugly mug. Yeah. Um, let's see, and you, you know, you'll have random my messages. I mean, these aren't very data intent, you know, system intensive. But, I mean, it's just, it's just a comparison. I mean, I mean, that's no one's, no one's really going to be running, hundred and one things. I mean, just for extra measure, I've got. Xcode, which I'm going to use for um, Swift and Objective C um, developing.
Take away that. I want to see my password. For some reason you can't use iTunes while you're loading Xcode for the first time. But, I mean, let's see. You've got... Where are you? Activity monitor. I mean, activity monitor showing CPU intent. You know, it's supposedly system using 22%, user 56. So it is, I mean, the CPU is on. You know, you've got all these things running. So they're access, you know, they're requesting access to CPU pretty much most of the time. And here you can see memories you, uh, out of the 5 gigabytes I have, 4.6 is pretty much used. Um, and then virtual memory is 5 gigabytes, which is probably created as a page file from the SSD. Um, but the SS since the SSD is so powerful, you it acts like a RAM anyway, most likely. I, I imagine it to. Um, that's about it, guys. You know, this is this is a hundred and twenty-five pound MacBook which I got off a chap off uh, Gumtree. It required me to drive up to Milton Keynes to pick it up. So the way I look at it, it cost me twenty pound of fuel plus hundred twenty-five pound, and I've got a hundred and forty-five pound MacBook. It's not in the best condition in terms of um, it's got scratches all over. And obviously it's had use, but the advantage, um, actually not advantage, I mean, it, there aren't, one thing about it, it has no cracks, has no dents, so it doesn't, it's been chipped in a random places, but it hasn't been heavily dropped or anything. The screen's perfect, I don't, can't see any dead, uh, any dead pixels. The keyboard looks like it's been changed, because it's not smooth, it's got this matte effect, as you can see, with the, I don't think I can focus on my camera. For like example, the light, it's not lapping, there's, um, it looks like a cheap China copy or wherever, they, you know, they create cheap versions of keyboards and parts. The the hole where the light's meant to come through doesn't match up. Uh, but, you know, it's look how smooth that is, that is beautiful. I mean, I was using, I mean, I was using it on SSD just, um, you know, hours ago, on, on a normal hard drive hours ago. You know, and there's no chance it was. It, it had only one or two apps running, and it was no chance it was smooth. You got dashboard that would take forever. Here, you, you just I just snap back. It's it's practically like having a late the latest MacBook. You know, realistically, you don't need anything like that. So for 145 pounds, 22 pound SSD, I've put in 20 pounds worth of memory. So um, relatively, you know, for about 187 pounds, I've got. A up, you know, a, a great uh, a laptop, and it happens to be a MacBook, so I can develop, um, I can start learning iOS apps, um, and also, um, yeah, and the battery at the same time only had 92 charge cycles, so it's pretty healthy. It's got about 92% uh, battery, 92% health check. That's great for me. Anyway, guys, thanks. It was a very long video. A lot of it's rubbish, but anyway, peace out.